The following program is from NET, the Public Television Network. Wetzel Quaddle Entertainment presents Quinlan's Animation Extravaganza, Episode 128, Muse Location. Animation Land. As you can see, I've just sent my script for Chapter 26 of Himotsu Sentai Gorager to Shotaro so he can do the illustrations. So, I've just gotten back Mewtwo from Professor Milk. His Magical Creature Encyclopedia has just been released to the public, containing information on all 150 magical creatures. However, I feel that there's one more magical creature, one that's so rare that it's said to be a mirage by many experts. Its name is Mew, and it's the source for the mighty Mewtwo. Now, nobody knows where its location is, so I need to think of a way to find that out. In the meantime, I guess I could stop by Hooper's store for lunch. I could use some grub right now. Come on! Hello, Quentin. How are you today? I'm doing just fine. I'm trying to think of a way to find out the location of a rare magical creature called Mew. Mew? I thought that creature had gone extinct years ago. Well, anything is possible, so I'm trying to find that out. I see. Anyway, what will it be today? I'll go with a chicken sandwich, no pickles, with waffle fries and a Diet Coke. Alright, one chicken sandwich with no pickles, with waffle fries and a Diet Coke coming right up. Man, I'm sure I'm going to miss Mr. Hooper when he dies. I wonder when that'll be. Alright, one chicken sandwich with no pickles, waffle fries, and a Diet Coke. Eat in good health. Thank you very much. Nom nom nom. Nom 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 nom. Alright, so I found out some more information on Mew. Apparently it has the DNA of all the other magical creatures in existence. It was thought to have gone extinct when greedy men tried to take them for themselves and ended up bombing their habitat. Hey, Quinton, what are you up to? Oh, hi, Gordon. I'm just reading some information about a rare magical creature called Mew. Well, I guess anything is possible when it comes to animals that are believed to be extinct. I've heard reports from a few people worldwide that they have seen a Mew cutting across the horizon. Well, I'm trying to find out if there is one, and if so, where it can be found. Well, that seems really hard, but good luck with that. Okay, take care. You know, it's actually surprising me that the 150 magical creatures can learn the same 165 moves the Power Buffs can. However, unlike Power Buffs, I've heard that a magical creature can only know four techniques at a time. If they try to learn a fifth one, they'll have to forget a move they already know to make room for the new one. Also, it's quite obvious that no two magical creatures of the same species are identical. One might be more skilled or know different techniques than another. Hi, Quentin. I didn't know you were into magical creatures. Well, I just captured the most powerful magical creature of all, the mighty Mewtwo. Now I'm trying to find out if there's a survivor of the species that Mewtwo is based on, Mew, and if so, where it's located. Wow, I can't even imagine what it would be like to rediscover an animal that's believed to be extinct. Well, I'm trying to think of a way to find out if there is still a surviving Mew. Okay, well, take care now. Wait a minute, that's it! I'll hypnotize Miyako in the same way that Van Helsing did to Mina in Bram Stoker's Dracula. That could possibly provide me information on Mew's location, if they still exist. Okay, Quentin Sean, what do you want me for? Just sit right here on my bed, and listen to the sound of my relaxing, soothing. Wow, I didn't think I could hypnotize anybody so easily. Now to find information on Mew. Miyako, what do you see? I see a mysterious flying pink cat, running the environment of the cancel country. Wow, could this pink cat be Mew? Anyway, where is this flying pink cat? It's headed toward my hometown of Cerulean City. It will pass Cerulean the next day. I guess I'll have to find Mew before it reaches Cerulean. Thank you, Miyako. Now, wake up. Well, I plan on heading just west of Cerulean City tomorrow to find out if there really is one. Hey, thank you for stopping by. 
Mew might be even harder to catch than Mewtwo, but I'm sure I'll be able to do it. Stop by anytime you want to, okay? Alright, see you later. This episode was an original story created entirely for this show. Written by Quentin Cole, copyright 2019. This program is a production of Quetzalcoatl Entertainment. This is NET, the public television network. <laughs>